All right. Hello, yogis. Welcome to Yoga for Dentists. I'm Dr. Josie DeVidio, longtime dentist and certified yoga teacher. Today is World Mental Health Day, so I thought it would be helpful to highlight the necessary skill of bringing awareness to something that is actually quite simple but feels soothing during those times when you need a mental health boost. Even when you're incredibly busy at work or intensely stressed out for any variety of reasons, there are simple ways to discreetly soothe yourself and feel safer, cared for, and calm. The first thing I recommend when you notice that you're stressed is simply to stop. Pause what you're doing, as long as it is safe to do so, of course, and allow yourself to simply be still. The next step is to breathe. Simply notice yourself breathing in and out, get back to the basics. We often don't even pay attention to our breath, and we may actually be holding our breath during moments of stress. Then notice what's going on in your body. What sensations can you feel? Where are you feeling them? And then try to reflect. What's causing this emotion? Ask yourself, how can I respond in a way that benefits myself and others in a compassionate way? And then finally, respond. Do what you feel is kind, responsible, and fair to yourself and to others. And by following this sequence, you can decrease stress, anxiety, and be less intensely triggered over the long term. Your body will also thank you because daily stressors, if left unattended, will take their toll over time. Trust me, I am a witness to this. Okay. In addition to the sequence I just outlined, if it's appropriate to your situation, you can also try taking several long, slow breaths, singing, listening to music, calling a friend, going for a walk. You know, fresh air does wonders for mental health. So now as a thank you for joining me today, I'd like to guide you through a mindfulness exercise of breathing in compassion for self and breathing out compassion for others. Let's begin by taking a moment to allow your body to settle into a comfortable position. You can be seated or laying down. You may also close your eyes or keep them slightly open, allowing the spine to lengthen and the shoulders to soften. Begin by taking a full breath in and a long breath out. Then allow the breath to find its natural rhythm. Let's start by inviting in compassion for ourselves. As human beings, we all have moments of difficulty or suffering. Take a moment to acknowledge the challenges you've experienced or are experiencing now in your life. It may help to think of a specific difficulty or you can keep it general. Now imagine someone you know who cares about you. It can be someone in your life now or someone from the past. It can be a dear friend, family member, a teacher, or it can even just be the general idea and feeling of a caring person. Maybe even picture yourself as someone who cares deeply about your well-being. Now imagine this person responding to your difficulties with warmth and understanding. And allow yourself to receive their warmth and their wishes for your well-being and happiness. Allow their care and concern to fill your whole body and mind. And as you breathe in, breathe in self-compassion, compassion for yourself. You may also want to say some words to yourself, such as, may I be well, may I be healthy. 
may I find the resources that I need to pass this difficulty? And as you breathe in, you can think of yourself as breathing in this compassion for yourself, taking it in and really letting it sink into your body and mind. Now bring to mind someone you know who is having a difficult time. It can be someone at work or in your personal life, someone you care about. Bring this person to mind along with the awareness that they're also struggling right now. And now let yourself feel what you would wish for them. You may wish them health, happiness, contentment, or it may not be a specific word, but more of a general feeling, a general wish for their well-being. Sometimes we don't have the words, we just have the emotion, the feeling. Feel that. And imagine them receiving this compassion. Now, if you're able, you may want to expand your wish of compassion for anyone experiencing difficulty or pain right now. You may say to yourself, may their suffering be relieved. May they be well. And on your next exhale, breathe out compassion for others. And even if you're not able to connect directly with feelings of compassion today, just bring kind awareness to whatever it is you may be experiencing right now. It's okay. Breathe in compassion for yourself. Now letting the words go, return to an awareness of your body. Settling on the breath, notice how you feel right now. Do you notice any sensation in the body? Particularly around your face, your head, your heart, even your belly. And as you continue noticing what is happening in your body, slowly open your eyes. Stretch is needed. And return your awareness to where you are. Excellent. So to recap, when you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed, remember that there are always a number of things you can do to soothe yourself. Pausing, breathing, noticing what you're feeling in your body, reflecting on your best, most appropriate response, and then responding with kindness to yourself and to others. And if it's appropriate to your situation, going for a walk, talking with a friend, or finding a way to take care of yourself are all outstanding responses. Thank you for your practice today and for allowing me some space in your day. If you've enjoyed this session, let me know by leaving a comment or a like so I know to create more content like this for you. Have a wonderful day, friends.